Hello folks, the first custom variant of AMD's Radeon RX 7600 8GB graphics card from Sapphire, which aims at the mainstream segment, has been leaked. The AMD Radeon RX 7600's graphics card is supposed to be a mainstream offering within the RDNA 3 lineup. The graphics card was expected to launch by the end of this month, but based on the new leak by video cards, Asian retailers already have the first batch of these custom models, which more or less confirms that the launch is indeed happening soon. As for the model that was pictured, it is the Sapphire Radeon RX 7600 Pulse, which should offer a non-reference cooling and PCB design with dual fan cooling. The card is labeled as overclocked and is also confirmed to feature 8GB of GDDR6 memory. On the side of the packaging, you can read 32 compute units or 2048 cores, 32 megabytes of AMD Infinity Cache and RT plus AI accelerators, so it's more or less based on the full Navi 33 die. This leak also confirms that the recent GitHub list was entirely accurate, since the AMD Radeon RX 7600s already utilized the full Navi 33 die. This would mean if AMD was to launch the 7600 XT as a Navi 33 die, they could only increase the clocks and VRAM, which doesn't see much of a change. It is more likely that the 7600 XT and 7700 XT go with cut down Navi 32 dies, with the 7600 XT getting 129 bit and 7700 XT going with a 100. 92-bit bus interface. At a rumored price point of $250, the graphics card will directly compete against Intel's Arc A750, which retails for the same price. It will definitely be an interesting duel between the two cards, with Intel fine-tuning the performance of its Alchemist architecture while AMD delivering a new RDNA 3 architecture. The AMD Navi 33 GPU is going to power the Radeon RX 7600 series graphics card and would be the third and only chip of the RDNA 3 lineup that utilizes a monolithic design. The Navi 33 GCD features two shader engines and each shader engine has two shader arrays. This rounds up to 16 WGPs or 32 compute units for a total of 2048 cores, which is the same core count as the Navi 23 GPU. The GPU will come packaged with 32 megabytes of infinity cache, the same amount as the Navi 23 GPU, and across a 129-bit wide bus. First introduced on laptops, as the Radeon RX 7700 and RX 7600 series, the Navi 33 GPUs will be aiming at the budget segment with prices between the $250 to $300 range. Expect the AMD Radeon RX 7600 graphics card to launch by the end of the May. Anyway, we will keep you updated, guys, so subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.